Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. How are you today? This is not Black Mercury, although that is his intro, so don't mean to steal your line, bro, but I thought that would just be a cool way to start out this episode. Uh, Circle Cat Zack here, bringing you the long-awaited episode 22 of the Volt White Nuzlocke run. And as you can see, we are in a Pokemon Center. This is actually Castelia City's Pokemon Center. Um, and a couple things. First off, I'm in here because I do want to heal up. I did some off-screen training, and I do want to heal before I take on Elisa at the Nimbasa City Gym. One thing you guys did miss that was pretty major is something evolving. Something at level 37 evolved into a Bayonet. So we now have a Bayonet on our team. And also, you also, also, you also. You may have noticed that... We are back at normal speed, it's not being sped up anymore, and that is mainly because I've noticed in my past couple videos that everything's been sort of behind. Uh, the sounds have been ahead of what you're seeing, and so to try and cut down on that, I'm going back to the normal speed and seeing if that fixes the problem, and if it does, I'll just leave it at normal speed, but if not, I'll try to figure out what else is wrong with it. Um, so anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and see what you want. You're just getting out of the way. No, I don't know, Geonet. I don't really want to. I have no need to. So, we're going to heal up. This is one of my heals at Castelia. I still have the after the gym leader heal. So, that's taken care of. And I will see you guys at the Nimbasa City Gym. Okay, so here we are guys in the Nimbasa City Gym. I'm going to be starting with um, Thief because I taught Thief Strength. That's one of the things I did off screen. And Strength is a rock type move in this hack. And since Elise is going to start off with an Amolga, and this is a single battle, I do want to see if I can take it out early. And we'll see what how we do guys. She's gonna have an Amolga, a Manectric, an Ampharos, a Raichu, a Galvantula, and a Zebstrika. So, let's see how we do. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. So here we go guys, gym battle number four. Of course she's gonna lead off with Amolga, I'm gonna lead off with Thief. This Amolga is going to have the Static ability, and it's going to have the moves Wild Charge, U-Turn, Acrobatics, and Roost. So if we can take this thing out early, that would be a blessing. It's going to U-Turn out, which, I don't know, Thief eats up U-Turns all day. She's going to go into an Ampharos, which is going to have Thunderbolt, Charge, Focus Blast, and Cotton Guard. So, obviously don't want to stay in on a Focus Blast. I'm going to predict her to Focus Blast, actually, and go into something. So here's something, the Bayonet. And boom! Eats Focus Blast like a boss. I it, uh, Wow, it has the Shadow Tag. Or the Spell Tag. So... That boosts the power of Ghost-type moves, and it is Ghost, so it is Stab, and it learns Shadow Ball at level 36, so I think that's what we're going to do. That did an okay amount. I'm going to... Oh, good! Thunderbolt is disabled. So I'm going to predict her to uh, heal up, and I'm going to go for a Pain Split. And she does. Let's look at that. Some awesome damage right there. So, her only two moves that can hit us are... Well, she can't hit us, so... I'm gonna heal up. I'm going to heal myself with paralysis too. Okay, 
keeps raising her special defense. I gotta stop her from doing that. Oh jeez, it's no longer disabled. Shadow Ball, please do something good. It's doing nothing now. Ah! Boo! Looks like I'm gonna have to switch over to physical, uh, faint attack. Come on, take it out. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! Good job, something. Joey has the experience share, by the way. Now she goes into her Galvantial, which is dangerous. Uh, it has Volt Tackle, Cross Chop, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. No, wait, that's Electivire. Pardon me. Thunder, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and Thunder Wave. So, not going to be switching in Neo Lappers. Um, I'm actually, this is a, the perfect Pokemon to send in Severus on. Send, yeah. I think. Unless it uses Thunder. Only which it did. Golly. This thing is just crazy. I don't know what to put up against it. Let's go Thief. You can't bolt switch. Wait, you're not supposed to have Volt Switch? How do you have Volt Switch? Ah, uh, now I'm paralyzed. Raichu is going to have... Oh, I read the wrong list. Uh, in this battle, Galvantula has Thunder, Volt Switch, Signal Beam, and Energy Ball, and Raichu has Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Grass Knot, and Focus Blast. Let's go back into something. Boom, eats Focus Blast like a boss. Shadow Ball. It's gonna Volt Switch. And in comes Galvantula with Thunderbolt Switch, Signal Beam, and Energy Ball. Um, jeez. Let's stay in. Ah, uh, there goes something. Who's the fastest? Ah, uh, let's go into Neo Lapras. Eats energy balls like a boss. Eats them up, they're delicious. Yummy, yummy. Raichu has the Grass Knot, so... We're gonna go into... ba doop bop bop Bella. Hmm. Wild charge, not gonna do much. Taken down. And Mulga comes back in with that wild charge, U turn, acrobatics, and roost. Don't want to take a U turn, especially. I'm just gonna hope I'm faster. Nope. I can eat them up though, apparently. 
Here comes Manetric, which has Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Flamethrower, and Attract. Attract wouldn't hit us because they're both female. But I'm gonna heal up here. Uh, there's my, uh, Quick Claw. Let's go, baby! Joey went up level. Here comes a Molga. Quick Claw! And it's confused! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! You done been hitting yourself! Boom! Oh, almost took yourself out. I'll finish the job for you. And here comes her strongest Pokemon, Zipstrika. With Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Flame Charge, and Double Kick. I'm gonna Moonlight. Get some natural healing going. I'm gonna just scout and see what she can do to me. It's gonna be powerful, but it has recoil. Let's go, uh, Psybeam. Oh, it's confused! He's gonna eat up his citrus berry. She. I'm gonna use a hyper potion. Oh, I got off the wild charge. Come on, take it out. Hit yourself. Boom! There we go. Ah, oh, that was a tough gym battle. We lost Severus. We lost something. But Bella is gonna learn Psychic, which is great. I don't really need Moonlight because I already have healing items, so... Psychic, here we come. And, and Lisa is finished. Man, that was a tough one. But, somehow, miraculously, we get that gym badge. But you know, folks, that's why they call it a Nuzlocke. It's just... You lose some Pokemon sometimes. It's rough. I hate it, but... That's what you gotta... You know, that's it happens. We, gonna, uh, we are gonna get Wild Charge here. Not sure if I'm going to... Uh, teach that to anybody, because that does do recoil, and you know, Nuzlocke and recoil don't mix very well. So, um, I'm going to get in this little cart here, and we're going to go back over to the front, and we're going to get out of here, and I'm going to heal everybody up. I'm not going to use a Pokemon Center heal, because... You know, there's not much use to it. Not a lot of PP's been taken from them. And a Perilous Heal for Thief, and we're right as rain. We do have to go deposit Severus and uh, something in our deceased box, but I do want to do something along with that, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can tell, we're in the daycare center, and that is because they have a PC box, so we can go ahead and deposit poor old Severus and something. So, goodbye something. Goodbye Severus, I'm gonna miss you a lot. I'm gonna miss both of them a lot. I'm gonna take their items though. That is the 7th and 8th Pokemon we've lost in this Nuzlocke run. Bayonet though was not the bulkiest thing, so I didn't really expect it 
to live. Severus, uh, you know, not very bulky either, and defense is pretty key in a Nuzlocke, but they were really handy. So, goodbye to them. But also, because I have two Pokemon in here, we can take them back. And now, once again, we have a full team. So please welcome back Trashmon. A very recent addition, and an even more recent addition. Please welcome back Kaka Rar, the Murkrow. So here we go. Two new members are Modest Trashmon with Sticky Hold. And this thing is pretty bulky. It'll be even more bulky once it evolves. And there's Murkrow, which is not bulky at all, so I'm gonna right away give that thing the Eviolite. I'm going to give the Eviolite to you. Hmm. I know it looks like I'm going to give the Scope Lens, which boosts critical hits, to, to, to Joey. And then I'm going to give the Experience Share to Trashmon. Okay. And there we go, so I'll meet you guys back out on Route 5. Okay, so we're back in Route 5, guys, and I did, of course, teach uh, Kaka Rar Fly, because, of course, we need something that can fly, or that makes it a lot easier anyway. So we, I was able to get back pretty quickly. Um, so we're in Route 5, and we have a pretty important battle coming up. We have another rival battle with Charon. It's going to be a single battle. He's going to have five Pokemon. And that is going to be um, Staraptor, Gigalith, Alkazam, Simipore, and Superior. So, since it is a single battle, I'm going to lead off with Watchog. That Watchog with that uh, Rock Throw. And here we go. Zack, stop. You've got a bolt badge. I've got a bolt badge. Let's test who's stronger, you or me. This time, I'm gonna win. So, a little scary here coming off that battle, but what are you gonna do? So, of course, it's gonna lead off with Raptor. This thing's probably gonna be really fast. So, I'm a little apprehensive here, but nothing for it. Just gotta strength away. Ooh. Come on, take it out. No. Let's heal up. Hmm. I want it to use takedown so it'll kill itself effectively with recoil, and I'm hoping I can live it. I do, and it does take itself out. Excellent. Good job. So here comes Gigalith, with Sturdy, of course, and it has a hard stone. Brr, so... I am going to, I believe... Switch out into Neo Lapras. Let's, <clears throat> let's see what Neo Lapras can do here. It has that not very effective smackdown. Let's go for a brine. Of course, it is going to live it no matter what. And it actually didn't even get it down to its sturdy. So, Brian will take it out. So it's got Alakazam, Simipore, and Superior left. Probably going to go into Sup Superior if it wants to take me out. Of course I want to teach you Pain Split. That's an awesome move. Don't really want you having Takedown. So, goodbye Takedown. Hello Pain Split. 
And yes, it is going to go into superior. Uh, which is dangerous. Um, I'm going to go into... Jeez, I don't know. Let's go into Bella. Ah, it's raising itself up, or it's lowering its attack, okay. What's hypnosis? There we go. Superior's asleep, that's really good. I'm actually gonna take a turn to heal up Thief, just in case. Okay, good, still asleep. Get off a of, oh shit! You psychic. Hopefully this will confuse it though. Okay, come on, psychic. Go, go, quick claw. Go, psychic. Please take it out. Nope. Crit. Oh, Jeebus. Let's heal up. Okay. Slam, not gonna do much. What's Psychic again? Go Quick Claw. No, I didn't take it out. Why, why, why? Boy, oh boy. Psybeam. There we go. Superior is taken out. Here comes Simipore. Let's go into Joey. Hopefully it'll use a water type move. Come on, Joey. Do work. Yeah! Raise and Dad's special attack. What's Needle Arm? Didn't get the pair of hacks, which is good. Oh, almost. What's Giga Drain for the heck of it? Get some of that HP back. Like a boss, Joey. Trashmon keeps going up levels. Here comes Alakazam. No, you know what? I think I'll just stay in. See what a Giga Drain will. No, let's see. try Grass Whistle. Let's see if I can get a Grass Whistle off. Yes! Awesome! Giga Drain. There we go, one more. Finish him. Oh, 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 yes. Unnecessary crit, but I like it. And Sharon is down, thankfully, without a fatality. Why? Why can't I beat you? And there's Elisa. Oh, you two are friends? That's nice. Oh, you're helping each other get better by competing. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna go over here to where this gym leader is, to where Elise is leading us, and we're gonna find this man with the crazy hair, but we don't know who he is. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova Regents champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from U New Vamital. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a, commend is a commending thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming champion? Oh, he has no idea. You have no idea, do you? Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important, too. 
If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with these two? No! But before that, he's gonna heal us up. So, I'm actually going to do this in the next episode. So, in the next episode, guys, we take on these little kids, go across the draw bridge to Drift Vale, and I think we get to maybe go to Cold Storage. We'll see about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like and favorite the video and leave a comment. I'm bumping it back down to 10 likes before I upload the next episode because obviously 15 was a bit too much. So, 10 likes before I upload episode 23. And until next time, guys, see you later.